Armored Core 6 is definitely one of the coolest games I've seen released in the past while. As someone who's never played the previous titles, and was an avid fan of the Gundam anime as a kid, I found it much harder to stop playing than expected. With a total of 6 hours playtime invested at the time of making this video, and having completed all the missions in the first chapter, as well as several training drills, I can safely say it might be my personal choice for Game of the Year. Now, I don't want to jump the gun too soon, but there's still so much left and it's only getting better. Not to mention multiplayer arenas featuring 1v1s and 3v3s. The question I want to answer is should you buy the game? Also, could Armored Core appeal to fans of other FromSoft games, like the Soul series and Sekiro due to existing similarities? Well, before I get into this, I'm going to give a fair warning that while Armored Core has a story, it's not the game's strongest focus. So I'm mainly going to focus on gameplay. Let's address the appeal of this game in the eyes of a Dark Souls fan. Well, they're both third person, they have lock-on target function, allow you to customize and create unique builds, feature several boss fights, trash mobs, and also don't hold your hand too much. This is most certainly not the sci-fi Souls game that people may think it is. It takes some wonderful features that Souls fans will be familiar with and goes in a whole other direction at the same time, which is simply beautiful. Now, let's look at three major points that this game does right. The first topic I want to cover is fidelity. Does the concept ultimately hold up? Do you get the sense that you really are on some sort of high-profile mission in a sophisticated suit of tech plowing through environments that suck you into the experience? Do the mechanics give you good feedback, and does the game even look good? My answer is yes to all the above. One of my favorite parts about the learning curve is that once you understand all the controls, hot elements, and get more creative with different AC builds, the gameplay ultimately becomes an extension and expression of your creativity, making one person's approach different than someone else's maybe. I could already tell you early on that the layers of depth will continue to increase with additional things like staggering, ricochet, pulse shields, status effects, managing your weapon cooldowns, all while specking your build to push past the difficulty spikes. In fact, there's so many layers, I'm not even going to be able to rant about them in this video. I'll save them for future videos when I beat the game. There's so much raw data in just the specs of the equipment that I needed to use the detailed explanation button. Another aspect that speaks to fidelity in particular is the performance. The game runs buttery smooth on my PC with an outdated CPU and half the RAM of current builds. It also offers a higher frame rate cap than 60 if you want to make the most out of a high refresh rate monitor or TV. While the graphics are not on the level of a simulator, nor mimic real life, as well as the upcoming Unreal 5 engine games, the game actually looks really good. I enjoy the style they went for, and the atmosphere is definitely there, which is super important. Accessibility will be the next major point. While I haven't played the previous Armored Core games, there was a really cool video that Vadi Vidya made explaining what it's like to play the older titles and showing his experience with the series leading up to the release of AC6. He mentions that even the tutorial of the very first game is straight up brutal, requiring you to figure out buttons on the fly that are just terrible to use in comparison to modern day controls, and the aiming in particular being tricky. This theme got better over time, but it seems like AC6 is the most accessible title yet. The fact that you are able to resell equipment at full purchase value and that you don't get penalized other than slightly lower pay depending on the damages incurred in a mission makes for a nice way of rewarding the veteran high skill players, but gently incentivizes newcomers to improve without a huge downside. You even receive items that are pretty damn good for completing the training sessions. This might be the best modern era from soft game to walk right into with no prior experience next to Elden Ring. While many people will favor a keyboard and mouse due to the aiming and shooting aspects, a controller was super comfortable for me, although I heard that using one with extra buttons on the back, like a Scuf or Xbox Elite controller, may even be better, since you can aim, shoot, and jump at the same time, as well as several other configurations. The final point I want to cover is replayability. Is the game ultimately worth your dollars in hours played? Well, so far I've sunk in six hours into the whole first chapter with some training on the side, and I have several chapters left. I won't spoil how many there are in the game, but I'm estimating I'm going to clock a minimum of 30 plus hours in the game before I'm done the first playthrough fully. I should also note there's multiple endings, hidden chests, and NG plus modes once you beat the game for consecutive playthroughs. That kind of runtime is precious in the age of 12 hour AAA games that cost almost $100 or more and do jack diddly squat for extra features like multiplayer. While we're on the topic, the arena itself will most likely leave you dozens of hours more if you like the idea of going head-to-head -head with your custom build against other mechs to see whose skill and customization triumphs. All in all, I am more than impressed. While I expected to like the game enough to beat it, I'm already planning on what kind of runs to try next and sharpening my gigantic laser sword to fruit ninja your ass in PvP. If you guys have played the game, leave your feedback below and let me know what you think so far. For those who haven't gotten the game, comment if you decided to buy it because of this video, 
And lastly, don't forget to subscribe and stay notified for future content. I'll see you next time.